Welcome back to the game. This is Robert continuing Conquest of Neroth. Starting round number two, and I have a special guest with me tonight playing for just a little while. And who is that? <laughs> That's his loving wife, Chie! Okay. Well, she's looking over. I've explained uh, the basic rules to her. She's She's going to move some pieces around for us, and maybe we'll do a few battles for you. She's going to see where she wants to take the Dark Empire of Kharkov. So she's looking up here and seeing where she wants the Undead Army to go. The first thing we need to do in the sequence of play is to draw an event card. So let's do that. The Undead Army has this magical item they got from a dungeon, the Horn of Blasting, that earned them two victory points in the first round. And the first card we drew for them was Dragon Plague. But as I told you, I should have, in the setup, given this, uh, given this team two additional event cards. That would have been their starting hand. And then now that we're in round two, they would actually get another one. So we're going to stock them up with three, and everybody's going to get the same chance to do this. We have Despoil. This is played after you uh, win a, a, a battle. You get a gold or steal one gold from the losing realm's treasury. So the other team loses a gold. Shadow Plague, you play this immediately. Choose one enemy realm. The realm's player removes one of its pieces from one land space adjacent to a land space you control. My wife will probably do that now. And then Risen Hulk. Play during any player's move step. Add one Karkov monster to one land space you control. Alright, let's get started. Okay, my wife is playing the Shadow Plague, which lets her remove uh, one of its pieces from one land space adjacent to a land space you control. And uh, she's decided to go after one of the dragons from the Elven Empire. So this dragon dies from the plague. We're now moving into the uh, next step after the draw phase is moving and she's decided to start moving some figures around. I have a question. Yes. May I move this one here? Yes. And this one here? Yes, you can. How many times can I move? You can move all of your pieces. Oh, as okay. many times as they can move. So he's going to go there. And the zo uh, hulking zombie, or zombie hulk, just went into that uh, elven territory and claimed it. So, uh, we can give you a point for that. Okay. All right, that's going to earn the Undead Army one point and take them to seven. Okay, we're continuing the, the movement of this Zombie Hulk. As far as I could tell in the rules at this time, uh, I don't think the Zombie has to stop after capturing that first territory. I think it's a legal move for it to keep going. And my wife's decided to go after the lone elf archer down to the south. So there's going to be a battle down there. May I move other pieces too? Yes. Okay. So he's going to go here. Moving some skeleton warriors around. Okay. Moved your, uh, your hero there, this guy. You moved him two spaces down mm -hmm. from the capital. All right, we're now looking up to, to the north, and there's a dungeon that hasn't been entered yet. It only has one door, and we're thinking about moving this uh, wizard, and then the two fighters in that area over there to the dungeon. That'll give us three heroes going in, which is uh, not bad. All right, uh, for the next move, my wife's decided to use one of the ships. And let me know where you want to go. Okay. I think I want to go right here. All right. 
So the sh those units were loaded onto the ship, move two spaces, and then you're, they're just going to hold position there. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, one, uh, one correction. Instead of stopping the ship in this area, uh, she's going to have her move end in this C area here, right next to the, the castle. So let's scoot those down a little bit. So instead of here, they go like that. Yeah. And then those land pieces can unload right into that space. Okay. And that's a good move. So uh, the ship loaded, moved two spaces, and then unloaded. And now for all three pieces, that's the end of their movement. I think we have one more move planned. We're going to move the zombie hulk and those two foot soldiers in there and in that territory behind that storm elemental is a siege engine and one foot soldier. So with two foot soldiers and a monster we may have the upper hand. Alright, I think we're going to have the undead army's storm elemental move a couple of spaces and go after that enemy ship to try to capsize it. Okay, it's time to start fighting the battles. Let's let's see what's in the dungeon first. And I heard it was a good idea, like I said before, to attack the dungeons first because you might find a magical item in there that can help you in other battles on the table. Oh. All right, we're going to find out what's guarding the dungeon. So the heroes are going to step to the side for a second. Flip it? Yeah. Why don't you just pick it up and bring it over this way. Alright, we've got a uh, funky monster in there. Ocher, maybe Ocher Jelly. You're fighting Jelly. Alright. I like Jelly. Uh, you like Jelly. I don't mm -hmm. know if you'll like this one. You need uh, a seven or higher to hit instead of a six or higher. I guess this kind of, this kind of thing is hard to uh, to get a decent hit on. So let's uh, let's fight this one. All right, fighting this uh, jelly. My wife has one wizard there, and she can put that D10 in the cup. Just one for the wizard. And it's got first strike, so she can roll this one first. May I use my hand? Sure, just right here. A, oh, no. A two. Uh, the wizard did not hit. So now what we'll do is we'll he's take... He's out of practice. He's out of practice. So now we'll take the two d6s from the, the jelly and the two d10s for the fighters. And I'll let my wife roll all four of those at once. All right, no, no hits for the monster. That's an eight. That is high enough to damage the jelly. So the jelly is going to lose one of its d6s. And then we have to decide, are the heroes going to stay and fight again or run away? I think the hero is going to stay and fight again. All right, so roll for your wizard first. <laughs> the wizard got a two. So the wizard is unsuccessful. Now we're going to take the two fighters and the jelly. Okay. Ah! Roll that one again. Well, you got a 10 with one of your fighters, and he didn't get any hits. So you've actually defeated the jelly, and you didn't lose any of your pieces. All right. Okay, for winning that battle, my wife gets a treasure card. Okay, why don't you pick one? This is my unshuffled deck. She's got a treasure card, and what is it? The Horn of Valhalla. Uh, play at the start of any player's turn, or play at the end of a game round. Power. Add three of your foot soldiers to one friendly space. Uh, property. I guess this is the ongoing effect. Once at the start of your reinforced step, add one of your foot soldiers to one friendly land space. You get one victory point for this. 
Okay, the wife and I are back and continuing the game. We looked over this horn of uh, Valhalla. I don't think we can play it yet. So no victory point yet for this magical item. Uh, we're going to continue with the other battles and perhaps play this at the end of the game round. Or it says play at the start of any player's turn. It says that the power is to add three of your foot soldiers to one friendly land space. I'm assuming that that's not three foot soldiers from the supply. I th I'm assuming it's three foot soldiers on the board that move to a space of your choosing. I'm not 100% sure of that, but three of your foot soldiers. I don't know if that's coming from the box or from the board. That's a question I have. Anyway, let's continue. Down in the Elf Kingdom, we've got a uh, Zombie Hulk versus an Elven Archer. The monster gets a d12. And the archer gets a d6. Okay, let's roll. Go ahead. All right, well, that's a kill for you. Yes. A 12 and a 3 for me, so the archer's gone. All right, well, the elven archer is dead, so let's remove uh, him. All right, he's out. Here is your victory uh, marker. Yay. And uh, the monsters have run amok. So if there is an oh, adjacent, <laughs> adjacent undefended territory, you get to claim that one as well. That's a nice monster ability. So you just got two victory points there. Yes. All right, so the undead marker, the kingdom there, is on seven. Let's move them up two points to nine. Which it's one? It's the is black that? one. This one? Yes. So nine victory points now for the Dark Empire of Karkoth. Karkoth. All right, the undead uh, kingdom here also is making an assault on the iron circle and we have a lone hobgoblin foot soldier facing a siege engine and a skeleton warrior that just got off the boat <laughs> so let's see what happens okay for your attack dice what do you have you've got one for the warrior and since you're using the siege engine to attack you've got two d8 all right so those are the attack dice the uh, the lone hobgoblin is a d6, but I've drawn these event cards for everyone now, and for the uh, for the cards for the iron circle, I have a card called Master Assassin, and it says play at the start of a land battle, which this is. It says remove one enemy piece mm -hmm. from the battle that has a cost of three gold or less. Slipping through the shadows, professional killers target the enemy's leaders. So if we go up there to where this is happening. Could I choose it? Uh, remove one enemy piece from the battle with a cost of three gold or less. I think I this can choose. E. Since it's an assassin, and you can't kill a siege engine. That's a, <laughs> I think I can stab a, a siege engine in the back. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's unnatural. You know, it's not clear as far as who's choosing, but I'm going to assume from the wording here that that I get to choose as the player of the card. So I'm going to choose the siege engine. The assassins take out the siege engine. Where does it go? Uh, in the uh, graveyard. Yeah. All right, so now we've got a straight duel, a sword duel going on between the skeleton warrior and the hobgoblin. Okay, so the siege engine is out and things just got interesting. So you take your d6 and I'll take mine. Two for the skeleton. And a <laughs> All right, we're battling. Ching, 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 ching. Back and forth. All do, right. Do it again. One more time. Yes. Uh, you Five. need a six to kill. 
All right, we're still battling. Both oh. of us are still alive. Somebody's got to roll a six. Yes. Ah. You're dead. All right, let's see if he kills you too. No. Here. No. All right, well, the hobgoblin put up a fight. <laughs> but he wasn't good enough. Here we go. Okay. You got another one. Another captured territory. No, Could you I? can't run amok. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but let's go over to the uh, victory track, and you get to go up to 10 points now. Okay. All Very right. good. <laughs>